I am in the middle of doing, I am, I can't even talk. I'm in the middle of doing our bathroom makeover. And I was supposed to start my period yesterday. And I have, I have all the symptoms of being on my period and I'm not. And I'm nervous now that Romeo and I have been trying to have a baby and get pregnant for 10 months now, probably 11, mm, 11-ish. I've never taken a pregnancy test before, ever in my life. But I've had this box for six months, <laughs> hoping that there would be a day that I would need it. This is actually the first time that I've had a reason to take one because there is a possibility, but I'm trying not to get my hopes up. We're not trying to get our hopes up. So I just chugged a whole bunch of water so I needed to go to the bathroom again and we're gonna do this. So I'm gonna go get Romeo. <laughs> I'm like nervous. I'm, cause I don't wanna get my hopes up. So I'm not gonna have any emotion towards what this, if this says no, it's okay. If it's negative, it's okay. We're just gonna keep, keep on. And if it is positive, I might spiral because I will question all of the projects that I have worked on in the past couple of days because they have been super stinky and probably not something that you should have done when if you're pregnant, including standing in this room smelling like paint. I've used stain, retique it was stinky. All of it was bad, but that's okay. Maybe my baby will be a DIYer <laughs> because of it. This is the first time I've ever seen one of these in my life. Did you go to the store? I'm sorry? Did you go to the store? No, I had this in hopes of I'm shaking. I don't even know how to do it. Are you nervous, baby? Yeah, I'm shaking. Baby, I, this I, has been the first re time I've even like had a reason to, to do it. There's so many instructions. I have to go pee. <laughs> oh, it's blinking, it's blinking, it's blinking, it's blinking. Okay. Let me turn it up. Three minutes. Can you set your timer for three minutes? Set an alarm for three minutes. You know, if this is like positive, I'm gonna like hate myself for the amount of stinky stuff that I've smelt over the last like <clears throat> week. Like my projects have been like super stinky. Well, the baby's gonna come out stinky if there's a who's, who's gonna Who's gonna paint things for me? Are you, are you gonna paint things for me? Sure. Who, I want to build sh shelves. Where? Are you? Where, where are you build shelves? What can I do and what can I not do? You probably can't lift anything heavy like the clothes. I think right now you're okay. What like... does this, what does this mean? No. no way. I've never had to take one of these before. No, I'm not getting my hopes up. Mm -mm. I'm not doing that. No, because then I'm going to get disappointed. I'm going to be disappointed if it's negative. You know, so I just got over being disappointed every month. Like I just got better about it. That was the fastest three minutes. I thought it was going to be like really long. That was three minutes? Yeah. See what? It says yes or no. It's oh, it says, it says yes or no? Is that just... Yeah. On three? Yeah. Three. One. Two. two. Three. <gasps>
says yes. <laughs> oh my God, I've done so much stinky stuff. <laughs> what are you thinking? What is going through your head? I don't know. Good thing we didn't pay my room. We could paint that room for the baby. Wait, this one. We'll do the other one. Oh. Unless we have twins, then we're screwed. Oh. Then you're screwed. Shh. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm feeling lots of things, obviously. So I'm just documenting this. <laughs> I I feel like a winner in a sense because I'm like, yeah. Like, because we've been trying for almost a year. It felt really defeating. So now it feels like I won kind of thing. That's one feeling I have. Another feeling I have is like really horrible guilt because of the projects that I've been working on recently and in being so stinky because I literally just finished painting our bathroom you know also like will this say yes forever because I need to I want it to say yes forever it, the, today is October 7th I have a doctor's appointment on November 3rd, just, I just booked, I booked it months ago because I wanted to get in with a, a new LBGYN here and I like close to our house and um, I didn't really have a good one before. So I booked it with the intention of it just being like, okay, it's been a year, we need to try something different. Let's see, let's do some tests. Now that appointment is now becoming like, no, it worked. What now? Oh, you guys. Today, let me check my app. I have this like, what to expect app on my phone um, that tells me, you know, like the different weeks and the different stages of pregnancy that I'm in. So today I am six weeks and three days pregnant. It has been two weeks and three days <laughs> since we found out that we were pregnant and the fatigue and the tiredness has really set in. I feel like last week, at the, like when I was like five weeks, it really started to like, I started to notice myself getting like more tired. I also cut out a lot of like caffeine and things that my body was really used to prior uh, to finding out we were pregnant. I, I cut a lot of that out. So I think a combination of that and like reducing the amount of caffeine that my body was used to and then also just the fatigue in general um, of the first trimester is like a lot. So uh, today or this week, uh, the baby is as big as a sweet pea. A little sweet pea and we have 34 weeks to go so we're still very early um, but I'm just kind of like documenting like how I'm feeling in the process of it all Romeo was cleaning from breakfast over the last two weeks he's just like kicked into just seriously prioritizing me and my health and like what I'm eating and just like he's so cute he bought a dad book becoming a dad we tried for so many months to get pregnant that I think both of us didn't ever want to get our hopes up that it could be this month or we're trying, you know, and we really wanted to wait until it was something that was real to really dive in. And then um, he really, really has. So like settled in, but overall I feel okay. Um, I definitely like yesterday and today I've been kind of experiencing like not wanting certain foods or wanting certain foods so like some like I love all food normally so like me being like oh no I don't I don't want that or like feeling a little bit nauseous just a tad like not like I'm actually fully nauseous but like my mouth kind of getting a little bit watery has definitely happened so I was hoping that I wouldn't be nauseous during the pregnancy but I don't know but I rested all day yesterday I had no energy and when my body like when I have no energy in the last couple of weeks like my body just like shuts down like it's just like i have to lay down so it's been challenging kind of keeping up with everything you know like my brain and my work mode like wants to keep going and like keep working and keep doing projects like i used to and my body obviously is like telling me that i can't do that and then my mind is also because this became my number one job kind of thing like it's gonna be interesting just kind of like balancing uh work and this and just making this a priority but also being smart about like my work <laughs> kind of thing we gotta, we gotta work yesterday i rested all day literally and now i feel really like like um 
restless, like I need to get out of the house. So we are gonna go and walk around the flea market today just for a little bit, just to get my body moving. And I don't think I've left in like a few days. So like, well, I've also been working. We had a huge photo shoot here. So it's still, still so early that I think that being on and being in a photo shoot and me being a model was like a lot for the candle line. And it was, we shot Noel and Ellery and I had all of these like inspiration. I've been planning it for months and months. And then to, you know, be not at like a hundred percent energy wise was like hard, you know, but I still think they came out really beautiful. So uh, we don't have our first appointment until I'm eight weeks. Uh, so it's November 3rd is our first appointment. So I'll be, I'll be eight weeks then. And then we'll find out just more info and stuff so we had our first appointment on the 8th of november and i don't even think romeo and i let ourselves really sink into being pregnant or the whole idea of it until we heard the heartbeat of our baby and that was truly the most special moment of my life when we saw the baby on the ultrasound and it was just such a special moment and then i entered the phase of being very fatigued and very nauseous I, for the next three to four weeks i had a really hard time just even accomplishing the smallest of tasks every day so some days i just need a good cry and i just didn't know how i was going to accomplish it all at times it didn't even feel like i was going to ever feel like myself again but i would pull myself together and i knew it was all all worth it and i'd do it a hundred times over we're at the doctor for our 12 week checkup. We're 12 weeks and one day today. So we'll have an ultrasound, I hope, and the test results back from our, like my blood tests and stuff. Um, and we will know, since I did these like extensive blood tests, uh, we will know the gender of the baby, but we wanted to put it in a couple because um, I need to know in a different way. Right after our 12 week appointment, we flew to Texas to tell my parents in person. I just felt like it was something I had to do in person when we knew we were in the clear. But I did bring you one, I found one thing at the, at the flea market yesterday that I Is this you. Christmas? It's not, no, it's just. But just because? Just because. You do know my birthday's in like a week. You sure you don't want to say it? That is true. This is your early birthday gift. Oh, well, no, I'll say it. Is, no, no, no. <laughs> we don't have to say it. Don't break it. It's glassy. Oh well, no. Ceramic-y. It's just a QC little thing. Cause I did tell you that Paris was, <gasps> France, oh, yeah. France was your, I thought it was so pretty for your new little house. Look guys, <laughs> it is so pretty. They started my house too pretty quick. Wait, where? Oh. Oh, I didn't know that was in there. Another oh. ticket? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you didn't know this was in here? No. Oh. This is very Isn't that cute? cute? That's very cute. That's I don't know what you're going to do with it, but... I know. I'm going to put my money in it. The trinkets. Trinkets? The trinkets. What is this? What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so oh when is the uh Oh my god so I'm, I'm oh, okay. twelve weeks and four days today. Oh my god. We just had our 
I was just trying to get through the 12 week because I'm they called me geriatric and it cared it scared me I have to have a lot more tests done so. <laughs> but we just had it on Friday that's why we had our ticket booked as soon as we got the good word I just needed to hear the heartbeat again <laughs> wow <laughs> I thought you were getting suspicious <laughs> Oh, yeah, could you not, oh yeah, not imagine you going through this no. life without having what no. I have with you. Oh no. no. Oh no. Later that night, we were able to tell my brother and sister-in-law, and my brother's so intuitive, so he totally already knew, and he knew we'd been trying for a while. And the next morning, we were able to tell my grandparents. You'll never believe. Look what I got. Let me see. I love the ultrasound. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Yep. Is it really? Yep. Oh my God. I <laughs> oh my goodness. Really? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you do what are you doing June thirteenth? <laughs> I'm walking the floor with you. <laughs> Thank you. So it is currently December 18th. Vlogmas is kicking my butt. Not Vlogmas. I think that I'm superhuman and that I actually thought that I could fully accomplish Vlogmas in the way that I do Vlogmas, where I really do pack each video with like lots of things that I do. And I thought I could accomplish that every day for 25 days pregnant. <laughs> Boy, have I had a really, really, really hard reality check. There are days that I have no energy. Like I'm operating at like a negative 10. <laughs> I never have 100% days. I'm always pretty tired or out of breath, even with like small things that I do, but some days are better than others to where I feel like I'm unstoppable, you know? And most of my energy comes in the mornings. Really solid energy until about 1 p.m. I need a nap or I just need to sit down. Body has been hurting more, like my back will give out really quickly and I haven't really done much. But today I did do my little, this is the Vlogmas day that I'm on. I, I just did my little coffee bar. I set it up and that really wasn't that strenuous, but I'm just, it wore me out. <sighs> Even the thought of like putting more cups on it, like this is literally what I did today. I did that little whole little coffee bar. Even the thought of putting more cups over there or like I had dishes to do. I was like, let me just do the dishes, and then I get to sit down. And I did them. I did the dishes. I just need to dry them and put them away, and I, f I will feel accomplished. And I, like, if I need to listen to my body, and I have been, and if I just like can't do something, I just won't. I really need to listen to my body. So that's all I have in me for today, and it is 3.30 in the afternoon. And I need to film an entire another video for Vlogmas, and I just don't think I can do it. This will all make sense when you guys see this video later, because... When I commit to something and I say I'm going to do something, I do it. This has been a, a big reality check for sure, but it's been a little bit rough, but I am grateful. I am feeling a lot better in terms of like my nausea. I'm not nauseous anymore majority of the time. I would say where week seven of my pregnancy, I was getting, I was starting to get nauseous. And then around week nine, it was the worst for sure. Week nine, 10 and 11, were really bad so for three weeks solid I didn't even see the light at the end of the tunnel for being like nauseous and I had there were days I couldn't even lift my head and then week 12 I started to feel a little better but I was still slightly nauseous when I would think about food I'm now 14 weeks four days so I don't really have really much like I feel like if on a scale of one to ten I'm like at a one and a half of not like some things still make me nauseous a little bit or the idea of them, but nothing major. So I am grateful for that. I do have a lot more energy in my second trimester. So that's why I thought I could pull off Vlogmas every day. I also did a whole makeover. So I thought I could do Vlogmas and that. Oh yeah, it was, 
I think I'm superhuman. It's Christmas Eve today and Romeo's family, whole family, is in from town and they're all coming here because we're hosting Christmas this year. So we thought it was gonna be the perfect opportunity to get everyone, to, it was the only time that we could get everyone together to actually announce that we are having a baby. So we're very excited, um, but we've been truly overthinking every part of this process announcements and telling people and how we know we just want to make it super special and um it's really exciting so i think that's why we're, we're kind of overthinking it so we came up with a specific idea because we're playing lots of games this year for christmas and since we're hosting it we're kind of controlling how the day and night is gonna go uh, so they all know that we're playing lots of games so I figured the first game, we can lean into it. You know, we could lean into the fact like, oh, this is the first game. This is gonna start like, you know, how we're gonna play the rest of the games. Everyone is going to get a blank envelope and they're all identical, but I'm gonna let them like pick at random. Like they, they feel like they picked something. And inside, it, I just got these like little cards and inside it says, I printed out a copy of our ultrasound. And I have this little, I ordered this. This is so cool, by the way. I ordered this Canon um, photo printer. I'll leave it linked because this has, I've been creating like a, I've been keeping a journal uh, for the baby, like writing to the baby when everything, like milestones happen. And I've been putting pictures like, you know, from the ultrasound and like our first appointment and when we found out and just something that they'll have later, you know? Uh, so it says baby coming. June 2024 and then the first game is the gender game so we already know the gender my my family just found out the gender and, and the announcement so we flew there to tell them and now we're telling everybody else it's like we're just trying to get everybody together they're gonna have to pick which team they want to be on the girl team or the boy, boy team or, or guess which what they think and then we're baking some cupcakes with filling inside that is either blue or pink and the number of blue or pink is going to determine what the gender is. And then those winners get to go over to the pick your present board that we created, which is crazy over there. And that starts our games, but that's like the first, that's the only thing that we could really like think of there. Our niece Zoe is suspicious. Like she's very intuitive. So I felt like if anyone would know, it would be her. So she's just, She's just, I was telling him that Zoe is suspicious. All right, Zoe, I, Zoe's I so Zoe intuitive. Does. So it's like, I just kind of knew that she would, if anyone was gonna kind of be suspicious, it's her. Um, but for no reason, I did, we didn't let anything slip. Like there's no reason she just like, I think it's such a hopeful thing that she's really like, she's really excited. So little Bean is much bigger than this. I was eight weeks here and I'm 15. And what's today? Sunday. So 15 and 15 weeks and three days. So little beans a pair. And we started calling the baby little bean because it looked like a little bean. <laughs> so cute. So we're gonna play the first game. Okay. So I'm gonna hand out these. It can be random. But don't open it until everyone has one. Don't Should I open it when don't everybody has one? Don't open it yet. <laughs> Should I get the last Let one? Let me get it. <laughs> Don't open it. Don't open it until everyone gets one. And then you can all open it at the same time. Yeah. One, two, go, 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 you guys it is officially december 25th it is officially christmas merry christmas if you're celebrating if not happy holidays i hope you're having a wonderful december we have officially told our entire family <laughs> so i can officially tell you guys the great news that this and this little secret that we've been keeping since october and i cannot express how happy and excited and blessed we feel i am like over the moon that we just have a healthy baby and that we are starting a new chapter which is absolutely wild you could see like my all my thoughts spiral in october like like i had so many thoughts i had so many questions 
I think it's always something that we thought about, you know, in terms of like balancing work and the my projects and things that I love to do, but also having a family at the same time. And when it was all in theory and all a question mark for the future, you don't really like dive into it into your mind. And I think in the beginning, it, I had all these thoughts that flooded my brain of like, what now? And I had so many questions. And, and obviously since then, obviously since October, we've had now two appointments at the doctor Romeo and I have both spiraled down uh, lots of research, you know, just about everything in terms of like what I can and cannot eat, uh, what I can and should not be doing. Obviously, I've talked to my doctors. And um, now that our families know, we'll obviously get tons of advice from amazing moms that we both have. We've just wanted to be parents for so long and um, we've been together for almost 16 years and didn't or I didn't anticipate it taking a year uh, or almost a year to get pregnant. And I don't know why I thought in my brain it was like a light switch you're like okay I'm ready and <laughs> that was supposed to happen that did not happen for us and I don't know why I, I don't know why I thought there was just a switch that you flipped and, and you were ready so I am very happy that I am past the nausea uh, that I don't have really any food aversions anymore I'm now almost 16 weeks which is crazy I'm well into my second trimester I'm just so ready for this next chapter in our lives and we're so 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 incredibly happy and overwhelmed with joy and also just like the unknown I guess of it all like we just don't know what to expect but I know in my heart that both of us are going to make incredible parents because our hearts are in the right place and um, it's really the next chapter that we've been ready to start for a long time so it definitely was hard trying to balance um, like my work and my content and also being pregnant and being in my first trimester um, but I wasn't we weren't telling anyone so it was kind of like I had to put on this like I'm okay I'm fine and I was not fine but we got through it and I know it was harder this year to accomplish vlogmas to really tackle it I didn't know going into it that I wasn't superhuman I don't know how that I called my mom one day and I was like, is there a reason why you raised me to believe that I was super hum human? And she was like, yeah, cause I do. <laughs> so, so there's that. So although I had to skip a few days of Vlogmas, I did accomplish producing a lot more videos for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas this year. I have no idea what the next year in 2024 is going to look like, but I know it's going to be awesome. And you guys are going to be along for the ride and I'm still going to be passionate about my projects. I know. And that's, you know, that's part of who I am too. And I'm just, I'm just so excited for what the future holds. So. I hope you guys have a wonderful new year. This is my last video for the year. So I will see you guys in the new year. Uh, I believe my first video back will be the 16th of January because I take my two week break. And this year I desperately do need it. Uh, I just need to like lay like just to be horizontal for two weeks straight. We're also traveling back to Texas to celebrate Christmas with my family over the new year. So we'll be in Texas for a week. Uh, so if you're not already following me on Instagram, definitely catch up with me there. I love you guys so much. I'm so, so grateful and thankful for this community and for you guys showing up and all of your love and support. And not only my videos, but the launch of Arden Lure. I have no more surprises. I have no more things in my bag right now <laughs> this was my last big surprise so <sighs> i'm so happy <laughs> i just can't believe it. sometimes i can't be sometimes i can't believe it's real <laughs> so sorry <laughs> i love you guys so much have a wonderful new year i'll see you guys really soon Ugh.